Republican presidential candidate Marco Rubio joins us now. Senator Rubio, thanks for being here this morning. Good morning. Senator, I wanted to ask you first about the tenor of this campaign. Parents watching last night, kids watching too. You and Donald Trump have traded personal insults in recent days, and Trump responding last night to your comments about the size of his hands and without going any further, this is a morning show. Uh, you have young children. Do you regret where this has gone? Look, I, I, I regret the way the campaign has become, absolutely, because Donald Trump for the last year has made it one of the most vulgar spectacles in American political history. He has offended personally every single person running for president. He's offended journalists. He's offended the disabled. He's offended women. So I would love for all that to stop. But do you I'd regret rather talk engaging about issues. on that level? I'd rather talk about public policy. Look, I think sometimes when someone is as offensive as he is repeatedly, he needs to get a taste of his own medicine. And let's be clear, nothing I have ever said comes anything close to what Donald Trump says regularly on a daily and routine basis. Well, let me turn to Not some of the issues that you brought answer. up last night. Uh, both you and Senator Cruz went after Mr. Trump, uh, raising concerns about Trump University, among other things. You said he's making promises he has no intention of keeping. He's trying to con people into giving them their vote. He's trying to con the American voter? Absolutely. And he's done this in his business career. What he's done throughout his business career is he says, look, I'm this very successful businessman. I know how to get this and that done, and I can do it for you. Sign up with my brand or sign up with my thing. Well, that's what he's doing now, except instead of money, he's asking for people's votes. But if you look at he has no intention of doing any of this. It's already clear last night he changed his position on immigration. He changed at least on one key aspect of immigration. Uh, he has no answers on health care. We saw that last week. He had no serious response to foreign policy other than to attack me personally by the name calling. There is not a single issue that he has ever given a thoughtful, serious answer on, and he's asking to become the president of the United States. Senator, do you know so there's I, been I think that's evidence of someone. You know there's been a lot of talk yeah, about this Republican revolt from members of the Republican establishment. Mitt Romney now leading the charge. Uh, Romney saying if Republicans choose Trump as our nominee, the prospects for a safe and prosperous future are greatly diminished. A safe future diminished. Do you agree with that? Well, first, I, I would... Uh, say it's not the Republican establishment alone. There are plenty of constitutional conservatives, people that believe strongly in the conservative principles, who understand Donald Trump is not a conservative and his nomination could very well signal the end of the modern conservative movement as we know it. In terms of danger, yeah, the world is a very dangerous place. And some of the rhetoric that Donald Trump has and some of the policies, to the extent he's even outlined a little bit, out there, are reckless and dangerous. But if you think he's going to make America less safe, you think he's conning the American voter, uh, you did say last night that you would support Donald Trump if he's the nominee. How do you square the two? Yeah, I mean, that's the quandary we find ourselves in. That's what I'm trying to avoid, because if it comes down to that, which I don't believe it will, then our choice is between Hillary Clinton, which is just awful, uh, you know, on e email investigation that has our own FBI investigation, uh, you know, I think disqualified from being commander in chief because of Benghazi. And then Donald Trump, who we just discussed. I mean, I, I wish people had, would have a better choice. You're aware of the polling in Florida, the primary there in your home state coming March 15th, Donald Trump leading. Is it a must win for you? We're going to win Florida. And, you know, polling, I mean, I don't believe that. I know that poll's not accurate. I know for a fact. Uh, that said, you know, we were down 20 points in Virginia and almost basically beat them, would have, had there been less people on the ballot. We but, closed very strong. We'll but is it a must win, Florida. Senator? It'll be a tough and close race. We're, no, listen, no, I've never categorized any state as must win, but we're going to win Florida. And, uh, and I'm very confident of that. All right, Senator Rubio, we can hear your voice a little hoarse this morning. We hope you feel better. <laughs> Thank you.